You can't force a cat to do stuff the way you can quote unquote force a dog. You can put more pressure on a dog. Some people just think as long as you can train a cat to do anything, that's good enough. Sit. What's the clicker thing? That means good. The breeder named him Pride. I was going to change his name, but it kind of fits because he's very proud of himself and very prideful. And he is an exceptional cat. Sort of interested in like the, what a confidence in an animal like looks like. It's something you read as far as confidence is concerned. You see the way they carry themselves. Sometimes a little more difficult to live with because they have so much confidence in themselves. They get a little obnoxious, but you need an outgoing, confident animal to be able to go through the rigors of Hollywood. On your side. On your side. Head down. Stay. <laughs> we tell people a dog works to please his trainer, a cat works to please himself. Hey! Leave the cat alone. They can be very animal aggressive and they're very, you know, very full of themselves. Where's a good rub? That was a good one. Cats are very difficult animals to work on the set. They're flight oriented animals. If they get upset or scared, they're going to run before they think that something spooks them and they want to take off. Part of our deal is we go to the location we're working at a day or so in advance, spend 20, 30 minutes with the cats there. Then when you go back the next time, even though it's changed because the furniture is different and the production people are there and cameras, etc., they're in an environment they're somewhat familiar with, so they're much more comfortable. No, not rub. Come on, feet up. Feet up. Come on, feet up. Both of them. Oh, that's pride.